Hello people, in this video let us look at cyanotic spill. This is an emergency in pediatrics. So look at this. Uh, it usually happens in uh, children with this uh, ventricular septal defect in the heart. If there is a ventricular septal defect, what will happen? And if the uh, deoxygenated blood is entering the uh, left heart, so if the movement of the blood is like this, right that means the deoxygenated blood is going to the left side and it is getting pumped deoxygenated blood is getting pumped to the circulation that is when there will be what is called a cyanosis okay what is cyanosis cyanosis is nothing but the bluish discoloration of the skin or the mucous membrane due to reduced hemoglobin or less oxygen uh, basically here they are blaming the abnormal hemoglobin pigment this will this will result in cyanotic um, but he, uh, cyanosis here we are talking about cyanotic spell so basically <clears throat> if some patient has this vstps that is uh, ventricular septal defect with uh, what is that um, pulmonary stenosis right pulmonary stenosis um, this is the physiology if they have this okay so what do they mean by pulmonary stenosis? They mean the pulmonary valve is stenosed. Okay. So where is the pulmonary valve here? The pulmonary valve is here. Okay. So this is the pulmonary valve, right? So if this is stenosed, what will happen? The blood will actually go from the right to the left. Okay. So right to left shunt or if there is a mixing of the uh, deoxygenated blood, right to the uh, oxygenated blood. So this will that will that is where it causes issue okay so what do these people have ventricular septal defect with pulmonary valve stenosis these are they are prone to they are prone to cyanotic spells so um, what will happen so the, in these people they are saying that there can be um, uh, vasodilation peripheral vasodilation okay and uh, there will be fall in systemic vascular resistance so basically you should understand that this is an emergency and you should promptly recognize this and intervene okay because you don't want any cerebrovascular insult or death so now what you should do you should take it seriously usually this will be in uh, two to six months old uh, baby okay this is a spell okay spell so it will last for a few uh, uh, minutes to hours so basically here the child will cry incessantly it will uh, have tachypnea that is breathe very fast without subcostal recession cyanosis will deepen right the cyanosis will deepen it will gasp there's apnea it's not at all breathing right apnea anoxic she seizures etc so basically this is an emergency and you say they said right you don't want any cerebrovascular insult and death okay so when you auscultate you will see that there is softening or the disappearance of pulmonary ejection murmur so this is kind of uh, going away it's kind of going away it means see the pulmonary ejection is softening why because there is stenosis where is the, actually the blood going the blood is not going here right where is the blood going the blood is actually trying to go directly like this right it's not going like this so the pulmonary ejection what they're saying is the pulmonary ejection murmur so the pulmonary ejection murmur softening or disappearing okay so did you understand why uh, this pulmonary ejection murmur will soften or disappear when does this pulmonary ejection happen whenever there is uh, systole right ventricular system that time only this ejection can happen isn't it that is now soft or uh, it will disappear okay so where are we now we are in we are looking at cyanotic spell. So now let us look at what exactly is the problem with this baby. Congenital heart disease it has. Right. And um, if it is a big defect, then it will not close by itself, etc. So if it's a large defect, you only will have to intervene. How will you manage this now? So let's go to management. How will you manage this uh, condition? So immediately what you should do if this baby is having the cyanotic spell, you should check the airway breathing circulation standard thing so you will check the airway then you will give oxygen right uh, then you will have knee chest position how will this help so basically this will help by um, increasing the blood flow to the lungs okay so uh, so let it get oxygenated the blood then you can sedate with morphine so morphine or ketamine you can use to sedate and then you can give so sodium bicarbonate this is to reduce the acidosis is it then you will correct hypovolumia so you will give dextrose normal saline okay transfusion you can transfuse red packed red cells if anemic if anemic you can give blood okay 
here they are actually giving metoprolol okay so you should understand here for tof what uh, for cyanotic spell what is the thing knee chest position metoprolol dextrose normal saline bicarbonate morphine that is to sedate so basically this is the treatment okay and if there is no improvement then what you will do if there is no improvement <coughs> they are giving vasopressor infusion methoxamine methoxamine phenyl ephrine methoxamine phenyl ephrine these are vasopressors so they will increase the blood pressure is it so phenyl ephrine methoxamine very important if the spell persists then you will paralyze the patient and then you will intubate ventilate and then you will have to do corrective surgery for the heart right palliative that is if you can't fix at least palliative <coughs> or you can correct the surgery correct the uh, defect okay then how will you manage seizures with diazepam for seizures diazepam or midazolam okay after this uh, spell uh, is over you have to do cns imaging etc to check the extent of damage if there are any focal deficits and then uh, you will do beta blocker you will give by beta beta blocker they are giving propranolol so it will reduce the frequency of the spells nice it will improve it will improve the resting saturation and decrease the frequency of spells so propranolol is our drug interesting because propranolol veranol have you seen actually used in migraine right and now you're seeing here cyanotic spell okay so in the cns imaging they told here you would do also an echo echocardiography for disease morph morphology corrective palliative surgery so if you want to do any surgery you can do here and then if uh, they are anemic you can give iron okay how will you prevent you going to tell the patient you remove the trigger precipitating factors and all you should remove so if you can remove you remove the precipitating factor like dehydration fever pain etc and then you encourage them to <clears throat> get the surgery done so that is what is about cyanotic spell and what surgery will you do in these people so you will have to close this defect you will have to remove the pulmonary stenosis right so you will have to place some conduit so basically there are a lot of ways of fixing this so the thing is uh, these people may develop other complications even after a surgery if the cyanotic spell happens with the, because of i mean if it is because of the tetralogy of violet it can also be called as tot spell okay if it is if because of tetralogy of violet otherwise it can happen in vst it can be called as tot spell if due to tetralogy of violet okay <coughs> so what else did you understand here if you want to prevent right in prevention you can write one more thing in prevention you can say fetal um, ultrasound right so when the baby is in uh, in uh, a very early stage if you can detect any heart defect they will uh, advise a abortion or a medical termination of pregnancy so that is uh, anyways choice of the parents okay